I just want to talk about the GGO uh, a little bit and your proposed uh, increase. Um, I'm looking at the budget for this year. It's a 16.91, almost 17% increase. Um, looking at the, your proposed increase last year was 4%. Walk me through why are, why are we at a 16% increase this year and a 4% increase last year? Well, I think I can address that this way. Uh, I met with our budget folks, our Bureau of Financial Management, and they had told me that uh, most of that significant increase is due to changes to the filled complement vacancy mix and salary benefit factors. So how many more people will you be adding to your complement we, with that 16%? We are 16%? looking at probably... Uh, increase in complement at the Bureau of Labor Law Compliance, uh, the Office of Deaf and Hard of Hearing, possibly PennServe. Uh, we also want to build capacity at probably our Office of Policy and maybe some other areas. Would you be able to give us a breakdown of um, personnel versus benefits and increase in salaries uh, uh, for this? I would be happy to uh, get with our financial folks and either provide that to the chair or to set up a meeting where we could actually discuss it. That would be great. It'd be really helpful to see the kind of the background of why that's such a big increase this year. So thank you. If I add one one piece to that, I think uh, it, it, it's important for us to remember that um, I think it's I don't know the exact figure. You probably have about 94.2 percent or somewhere in that area of our uh, money is federal money. So uh, the um, it's a very small amount of our uh, budget that comes from the state, only about 1% of the total federal budget, or bu bit, total state budget. It, about 58 <coughs> of our entire budget is uh, state dollars. I also want to point out that we also had an increase of about $300,000 in the new hire program, which is extremely successful and, and very, very good. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's, it's two and a quarter million dollars, so it's... It's not chump change, and I mean we're seeing cuts in other areas. We we saw cuts in in agriculture, you know. So I'm just trying to look for uh, as many dollars as we can to try and make sure that we continue to serve, you know, everybody well in, in our one rural of the, uh, communities one of the, too. One of the other reasons for that increase is that E-Verify. We will uh, uh, will be the uh, primary agency, the agency who is supporting that, and uh, that's going to take resources. 